Hey, what is up, guys? Teacher Keith here, and this is my 24th installment in the ongoing series of tourism in the Philippines. And this one we are uh, going to focus uh, from Lonely Planet Philippines, and we are focusing on the lovely city of General Santos. All right, so uh, General Santos, let me find a map so I can show you where that is. Um, you know, the entire uh, island of Mindanao is very beautiful. Um, now let's find General Santos. Yes, okay, so General Santos is down southwest of Davao. So let me get that map, and if you can see down there, uh, yeah, down at the very lower portion of that map is General Santos. So let's get reading about General Santos. Uh, known to locals as Gen San, uh, to fishmongers as the tunnel capital of the Philippines, and to sports fans as the hometown of Manny Pacquiao. Okay, so that's good enough reason to go there in and of itself as Manny Pacquiao is absolutely huge in this country. <laughs> okay, and for right reasons. Okay, so um, he's also a very wonderful person too. So um, actually ran for president and uh, was doing all sorts of uh, wonderful things like buying homes for the poor. He's got lots of money, but he shares it. So wonderful person. Uh, General Santos is the southernmost city in the Philippines, formerly Dadiangas. Uh, the city was renamed in 1965, so formerly was Dadiangas, in honor of General Pauline Santos, who, with accompanying uh, Christian Visayans and Tagalogs, established a settlement here in 1939. Okay, so these days it's typically a congested city. Again, 475,000, most notably for the huge ships that dock at the port here in Sarangani Bay, loading up freshly caught tuna for the journey to dinner tables all over Asia. All right, so they do love their tuna in the Philippines. Jensan is really only worth a detour during the Tuna Festival held in the first week of September and the Kalilangan Festival celebrated in the last week of February and commemorating the founding of Jensan in 1939 with handicrafts, with traditional dance, cooking, and handicrafts. All right, so they go straight in to the sleeping and eating. There's really no uh, sights to see in Jen San. Uh, okay, so the next thing on this list is going to be Mount Abo. We'll more than likely go into that one. Let me see if I can find it on the map. Yeah, it is up near towards Davao. Let me try to get that. Mount Apo. Okay, so again, look for Davao, and up there, right west of Davao, we have Mount Apo. Okay, so Mount Apo, literally the grandfather of all mountains. Mount Apo is a volcano that has never blown, blown its top, and at nearly 2950 meters, uh, it is the highest peak in the Philippines. Most mornings, it is clearly visible, towering above Davao. However, by 8 a.m., a mass of clouds resembling a fluffy snake usually conceals the peak. Local tribes believe deities reside near the summit and worship it as a sacred mountain. but it's the environmental stress caused by human traffic that makes permission to climb it difficult to obtain. Okay, the situation is fluid and should be soused out at the tourist office in Davao, which can provide a list of reputable guides 
are in Kidapawan, 110 kilometers from Davao, and the closest municipality to the starting point for hikes to the summit, the office of Kidapawan Tourism Council is in the city hall. Coffee is growing on the mountain slopes, which sit at the same latitude as Ethiopia. All right, so uh, that is that is all for now. Uh, stay tuned for more and do like and subscribe. Uh, this is Teacher Keith, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Paalam, paalam.